It's 6 a.m., an hour after the new Dark and Darker playtest has just begun. I finally got the demo downloaded and jumped right in immediately to start checking out the solo queue and experiencing what that was going to be like. My first character I decided to create and jump in as was a fighter, and we're going to see how well this ends up going in solo queue. So let's go start taking a look at our perks and skills. Uh, just to make sure, see what's going on here. So, I think everything's still the same for the most part. I don't think any of these things have changed. They're mostly focusing on quality of life stuff at the moment. Is it not going to show? Really? Okay. They no longer show us any of the... Uh, armor rating in the menu. So normally you could use the menu to check on what the armor rating was looking like. It's not showing right now. I don't know if that's a bug or something. But like defensive expert is a decent one. I'm not sure if we need that one for the moment. But we'll probably just stick with it. And then sprint, second wind. I kind of like victory strike. So we're going to start with victory strike. Got nothing in the stash, got the normal loadout. What's up, torches? And let's see what we got. Yes, the goblin caves. Solo adventures only. Perfect. All right, let's give this a try and see what happens. This will be my first solo run. So the new goblin caves in this dark and darker playtest is only for solos. And it's an expansive cave type dungeon instead of the, the crypt style dungeon that you saw in the other playtest, and that's the still the normal party dungeon and the high roller dungeon. All that stuff is still the same, but now there's this goblin cave. And this is supposed to be meant for solos. We're going to take a look and see exactly how tough this really is with the starter kit. All right, it is showing this now, so that's good. All right. We're in the caves. New, our new goblin enemies, nice. Ooh, we already have people dying to other players. Oh, you're, you're a little tanker than I thought you were gonna be. Actually, I was low on HP already, so second wind actually is fine there. I've been playing other games where E is activate. Still clip me there. <clears throat> Ooh, these guys hurt. Let's see if I can get this. Wow, it took so much more damage than I was expecting. Wow, that's bad. Wow, okay, so first run in went terribly. Alright, back another run. So far, these solo dungeons seem overtuned for solos like the the amount of enemies in some of the rooms so after that first run the rest also didn't go well so these new enemies in the caves have different attack patterns and different sizes from the enemies we got used to in the regular dungeon the regular dungeon by the time the last playtest came around if you were someone who played before you kind of understood the attack patterns you were able to start really progressing pretty quickly and easily through those dungeons. But this new one with these new enemies actually is a lot harder. They have so much more damage. They have different attack patterns. It's going to take a little bit to get used to it. And I think it's really, really hard to do in solo gear. So instead of continually going in and getting very little XP, like I got tiny, tiny bits of XP when I was doing these solo runs, I decided to go into the regular dungeon where I'm a lot more familiar, so I can actually get a little bit of loot, build something up, so I can try the solo dungeon again after that. Okay, so now we're in a normal, regular dungeon. This should go a little bit better, because they know what to expect. Unless they added and changed a lot of the stuff here as well, then this can still be difficult. But if they haven't gone crazy with adjusting stuff here, should be fine. I, I took a hit from those. 
Oh, really? I didn't get you with the victory strike hit. Damn it. I'm just in here trying to get a little bit of loot, because if I get some loot or some levels, then it should hopefully be a little bit easier to do solo queue dungeons, but the solo queue, you kind of need to go in with gear if you're a melee character. Maybe it's tuned towards range, but for a melee character, I basically felt like I did was not able to do anything. Solo is a lot about being just careful. I feel so much better even being a solo in a dungeon like this just because I'm used to it and oh, it's such a relaxing experience compared to the Gotham Caves. Oh, it feels good when you can get the actual victory strike off. Uh, yes, please, we take that over the other one. All right, that's going to help a lot. Hopefully get some more armor from these chests. I just want to get a little bit tanky right now. Uh, yes, boots will take. Just gotta wait for some escape portals. That's all we're waiting for right now. Just wanna try and get out with a little bit of stuff. Someone grabbed a lot of this stolen pro play things, but never grabbed any of the treasure. Interesting. Six. Oh. You know what? Oh, longsword's two handed, that's why. Alright, never mind. I don't care about picking the longsword right now. The scary part is players have been this way. I don't know what the right way to go is. Alright, so we're up to nine people have died. I just have to last and get a escape portal. I got some treasures to sell. We're looking good there. Should be very few players left in here now. Everyone's getting the warm-ups in. That's what's happening to me, too. I'm trying to get my warm-up in. Making sure I'm ready for all this. Skelly Archer over there. Got the mummy coming for me. chest. Another escape portal has spawned. Where is the question? Ooh, actually, we're gonna drop you, take you, you're worth a little more. Mommy, give me something, give me something good, give me something good. There's an escape portal. Alright, let's just get out of here. Get out of here with a little bit of loot, some XP. Let's just do it. Oh, a nice, straightforward solo escape. We didn't get a lot, but we're still low level, no gear. But we got out. Ooh, baby. Yeah, so many groups got taken out. They got to learn a little bit. But solo went well. That ended up being a pretty straightforward escape. I didn't really end up coming across any players. I heard some, but I was able to move her around them. As I said, solo play is all about being careful. And this allowed me to bring out a little bit of loot, buy a couple of pieces that'll help me deal with the solo dungeon later. I jumped back in for more solos in the regular dungeon, just to try and get myself a little bit more gear, a couple more escapes, get to level five so I could use some more perks and try and make sure I was geared going into the solo cave. All right, so we're back in. I think I'm gonna be just trying to stay in this environment for now. No reason to go out too far.
chest while we can. No mimic, no mimic. Alright, we're looking good. Take those. Right. We can hang out here slightly while we wait to see what's going to happen with the circle. It'll give us a little bit of an idea of where we can slash should go to. Okay, I might be able to get a couple of treasures in here. And then escape again. Um, give me a chest. No mimic, no mimic, no mimic. Take it. You can do this. Back up here for now. No reason to. There's no reason to take too much danger at the moment. Everything's still new. I explored a little bit up to the north, got a tiny bit more, then came back to the hidey hole for a while because I could hear players around. There were enemies getting fought, and I didn't want to get mixed up with a party. So I hid for a while until I figured it was safe to get out and start moving again. I just gotta get the escape portal. I can't die during it, so all I gotta do is get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, another solo escape. Oh, there was a lot of waiting in that one. Being solo is tough. All right, I've hit level five. I added on Swift, so Swift will make it so my armor's not gonna slow me down quite as much. There are other ones that'd be really, really good. There's a few that'd be pretty good to use, but. I'm trying to go a little defensive for this run back into the goblin caves. I am using some gear here. Not an absolute ton of great stuff, but we're using, we're going in with at least gear, even if it's cheap gear. So hopefully this gives us a little bit of extra survivability. So when we get into the dungeon itself, it won't be nearly as bad to fight some of the enemies. And let's just see how this goes. And we are in. All right, I've had this starting spot before. Ooh, sorry, we start with a skeleton corpse here, so let's grab that. We get something nice. We'll put that into work for now. It's not really that great, but hey, it's something. Okay, there's a few goblins here. Let's see if I can attract one of them over. There we go. I got your attention now. Mess that up. And they run away from you too. That's the annoying part. They actually try to get away. Ooh. Okay, first couple them down. Get some boots here. Come on, next one. Come here. Don't run away. Come back here. Gotcha. Okay, two down. Alright. I'm gonna try and keep this going. Get this chest. Keep an eye on things. Ooh, another healing potion. Beautiful. I brought a couple in with me, so that should hopefully help me live a little bit. Uh, there's the archer and stuff down here. I don't want to go that way. I don't really want to go this way either. I don't want to just ex I want to explore a little bit, but I don't want to deal with the goblin archers right now. I do have a little bit of stats. I have 34.7% armor rating, so that is pretty good. Only 8.9 magic resist, but we can live with that. 
Yeah, this is why I brought in some okay gear. It gets me in the 30s. It's not like an insane amount, but it is enough to hopefully keep me moving. There's someone on the other side of the door there. Make it nice and dark. the same on their side. I drank a healing potion. Gotta sneak up this way. went back the other way. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. A little tank here. Let's try taking these guys out. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna take you out. Ran away from me. It's fine. It's gotta keep my eyes open for the enemies coming. There we go. Another goblin down. Ooh, falchion. Alright, we're gonna switch to that. Bit slower, but it didn't cost me any money to grab this. Let's make them come to me. Ooh, yeah, so much slower. The damage. The damage is so good. For boots. Ooh. And extra movement speed as well. Okay, no more. Ah, uh, ornate. Damn. I was not hoping for that. All right, we got this, though. We'll be good. Let's get some torches off over here. Give me some darkness. Ooh, there is one of these. Let's grab that for the treasure. I'm going to get used to the Falchion slow swing now. Nothing in there? Damn. Ooh, another chest here, though. Okay, we'll grab this. Oh, it is going. Looks like this way is kind of the way to go for the moment. I think you have to defeat the cave troll to get out, but this is going a lot better for us now that uh, I have a little bit of gear. Ahead, there we go. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. We got to get south from here. Enemies on the other side of this door. Let me just check. We had an escape portal come up. Gonna look here quickly. Not right here, so it's gonna be this way. Alright. Ted, if I have to kill someone for that escape portal, I will. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try and grab it. win. Oh, this is definitely a lot harder with the It was at this smaller, moment that he knew. The slower he weapon up. speed. I can't hit you there. Just go down. I have to trade blows for the moment. I can't just trade blows. Yeah, run, 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 run. Get this healing potion and get this No! I should have went around them. Damn it!